Hi guys, day three, part two, more linear programming questions. We'll see if we can get through the last two examples of day three. Let's get right to it. K ration produces packages of animal feed. It contains two types of grain. Each package contains at least 100 kilograms of the mixture of A and B. Since A is less desirable to animals, we don't want to put any more than 40 kilograms of that. Also, governmental regulations on animal nutrition require at least 75 kilograms of B. It costs K ration four bucks per kilogram of grain A and six bucks per kilogram of grain B. Which amount of each grain should be used, put into the package of feed to minimize the company's costs? We're going to minimize costs. So let's get started with our decision variables. X equals kilograms of grain A. Y equals kilograms of grain B. All right, let's come up with some inequalities at least 100 kilograms of the mixture. X plus Y has to be greater than or equal to 100. Grain A is not desirable. No more than 40. X is less than or equal to 40. Grain B is nutritious. Y is greater than or equal to 75. That looks like a pretty good set of constraints to me so let's draw our axes down here i think we can probably go by tens this is grain a this is grain b let's go 10 20. oh let's skip and let's label by 20s 20 whoops back it up sorry Let's grab my pen, didn't want to be in line mode. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. First inequality has the intercepts of 100, 100. I'll do that one in black, 100, 100. Diagonal line. I have to make at least that, so I'm going to go up from that line. Next one, 40. I'm going to do in red. Or less. So that means I'm going to go this way. So right now I'd be in this upper corner, above black and to the left of red. And then the third, I'm going to do in green, 75. Halfway between 70 and 80. And it's that or more because it's nutritious. So my feasibility region would be here, bounded by the y-axis, the black line, the green line, and then the red line. This is unbounded. So I bet you were looking to minimize something. Obviously, we can't maximize because it would just keep going on forever. And I see three vertices. One, two, three. All right. What are we looking to do? We're looking to minimize cost. So let's come up with a cost objective function. Cost equals $4 per kilogram X plus six dollars per kilogram y and let's label our points p1 p2 p3 p1 i think is pretty easy to find it's all food b zero one hundred point two is a mixture point three is the intersection of the 40 and 75 so that one's pretty easy P2 is 40, 75. P3, if I was going to ballpark it, be somewhere, I don't know, 25, 75. But if we solve the system, again, it's the green and the black. So you would be solving this one and this one. X plus Y equals 100. Y equals 75. Plug it back in. Sure enough. X equals 25, just nice to verify. P2 
because sometimes a graph can is not exact. So that's 2575. Now we're going to plug them all into the cost function, showing all that work. 4 times 0 plus 6 times 100 equals 600 bucks. 4 times 40 plus 6 times 75 equals 610. And 4 times 25 plus 6 times 75 equals 550. And we're looking to minimize, so I like that line best. And then I'm going to answer the question that says, add 25 kilograms grain A to 75 kilograms grain B for a min cost of 550 bucks. All right, got that one done pretty good. About six and a half minutes into our video. Let's do our last one of day three. It says, Oklahoma Instruments makes two popular models of keyboards, the OK1 and the OK2. OK1 is a little bit cheaper. OK2 is a little more expensive. It takes a little bit longer to manufacture OK2. So the two stages for the keyboard production are assembly and testing. Timing, OK1, seven and a half minutes to test. Model OK2 is 30 minutes to test. Um, they can be each assembled in about an hour. And the facility is available 45,000 hours per month for assembly, 15,000 hours per month for testing. Profit on an OK1 is 50 bucks. Profit on an OK2 is 80 bucks. How many of each keyboard should be produced in a month without increasing current facilities to maximize profit? And what is that profit? All right, let's get right to it. X equals number of OK1s. Y equals number of OK2s. And then this is one of our XY totals. And we have assembly and we have testing. A little tricky here. Assembly. One hour to assemble each one, and there's 45,000 hours to assemble. However, the other one, there's 15,000 hours to assemble. But I can't use the 7 and a half and the 30 because those are minutes. So now my question becomes, what is seven and a half? Whoops, what is seven and a half minutes? And the answer is seven and a half minutes divided by 60 is 0.125 of an hour. Easier one, we should have done this first maybe. What's 30 minutes? A half an hour. So they go up here. 0 0.125, 0 0.5. Now let's create our inequalities. We have x plus y is greater than or equal to, no, pardon me, less than or equal to, because that's the maximum that we have for hours available. My bad. And 0.125x plus 0.5y is less than or equal to 15,000. Again, how many hours max available? Uh, if we use that x-intercept, y-intercept method, pretty easy here. x-intercept, y-intercept, 45, 45. I'm going to label by the thousands on my grid. x-intercept, y-intercept, 15,000 divided by 0.125 is 120,000. And divided by 0.5 is 30,000. So I've got my x and y intercepts, so I can now start labeling my axes. x, y, remembering that x is OK1s, y is OK2s. All right, what do I have for intercepts? 
for the x intercept i have 45 and 120 if i go by tens i think i'm good 20 40 60 80 100 120 that looks good to me 20 40 All right, and what do we have for our intercepts? So we have 45, 45. I'll do that in red. 45, 45. And the other one has an x-intercept of 120 and a y-intercept of 30. So 120, let's do this one in blue. 120 to 30. In our feasibility region, they're both less than, so it's this region in here. I see one, two, three, four corners. Couple easy to find, couple hard to find. So let's go P1. Hopefully it's not our best. P2, if I made all okay ones, at intercept, which was 45. P3, I'm going to use solve that system because that's somewhere in the middle that I'm not sure of. And then P4 is all okay twos, which is 0, 30. And again, I got to remember to mark this as okay ones times a thousand and times a thousand. Now, what is P3? The solution to the blue and red system. If I took this system and solved it algebraically, x plus y equals 45,000. 0.125x plus 0.5y equals 15,000. I would multiply this equation by 2. Pardon me, by negative 2. That would give me negative 0.25x minus y equals negative 30,000. Y's cancel, and I'm left with 0.75x equals 15,000. Divide by 0.75, x equals 20,000. Plug it back in, y must equal 25,000. Let's check my graph, see how I look. x is 20, y is 25. Twenty, twenty-five, right on the money. All right, so we don't have a function to plug into yet, so let's go back to the top. We're looking to maximize profit. Profit equals 50x plus 80y. Profit equals 50x plus 80y. So we're going to plug 50, 0, 80, 0, 50, 45, 80, 0, 50, 20, 80, 25, 50, whoops, 50, 0, sorry, that's messy. Thirty, eighty is thirty, and my costs are, and my profits, pardon me, are two million two hundred fifty thousand for P one, P uh, sorry, P two, P one, P one is zero, P three. 2025 is 3 million even. And P4 is 2,400,000. And if we're looking to maximize profit, going to run out of time in a couple seconds, you put that into words, which is 20 OK, 20,000 OK ones, 25,000 OK twos, max profit of 3 million. All right, great job, guys.
Have a good day.